Palmer, and you're watching Channel 12 News. Today we will be taking a look at the house of Susan B. Anthony at the King's College. We will be taking a look at the founding, the house history, a prominent tradition, and the maroon and white crest that sets these ladies apart. Now back to Rachel Eliopoulou. Thanks, Corey. The house system at the King's College began nine years ago as simple Bible studies and has now evolved into houses with full executive leadership. Anna Peters has been the house advisor for the house of Susan B. Anthony, and it is one of the original nine houses. Can you tell us about the early days, Anna? Sure, Rachel. In the beginning, the women were always very excited about the mission of Susan B. Anthony, and they've really held true to those core values that they established in the very beginning. In fact, at the very first brick signing ceremony, our exec team chose the word authenticity to represent the house, and that's one of our core traits to this day. Awesome. Did the house ever lose sight of this goal, or did the house ever struggle with unity? Sure, absolutely. In the very beginning, in 2005, when the houses were formed, all of the houses had trouble finding their identity, and SBA wasn't exempt from that. There was a lack of camaraderie among the girls for a while, but then we had two key girls that really stepped up and took ownership of the exec team, and those were Jenna Talkington and Erica Umberger, and they still have relationships with the house and many of the girls in the house to this day. Awesome. Well, now we're going to turn it over to Bree Duffy, who's a top field reporter with top leaders in the SBA. I'm here with Erica Hilliard and Kara Burns, leaders of the women's soccer team and the King's Dancers. Ladies, what would you say is a significant moment in the house of SBA? SBA is all about giving back to the community. I think it was a very defining moment when the original members of SBA worked together to found the house of Corey Ten Boom. Yeah, I would definitely agree with what Kara is saying. SBA's engagement in the house system has ever since been lasting and influential. Leah, as the president of Mock Trial and a member of SBA, what would you say is a defining moment for our house? I would say a real arrival point for the house of SBA was when we won Interregnum in 2011. We were the first female house to win Interregnum. So, I mean, being the house of Susan B. Anthony, it was a really empowering moment for all the girls in our house and all the women at the King's College. Thanks, Leah. Now to Chelsea with breaking news. I'm here at the elevated anchor on Water Street where we've been getting reports of members of SBA breaking into a chant. I'll be back with the scoop after the short commercial break. Purposeful relationships. We are the house of Susan B. Anthony. I'm Professor David Tubbs, and I approve of this message. I'm here with Angela Dunford, a member of SBA. So, Angela, what is all of this ruckus about? Well, the house of Susan B. Anthony has a traditional chant that we sing every year called the Super Susan song. It dates back to Apology of 2005, the Odell sisters used a camp song, changed the lyrics, and used it to memorialize the house. We teach the freshmen every year as a war cry for every school competition, and it unites the house. So, what brings you here today? Uh, uh, I don't think so. Well, the yes, we'll never know. Burns, here with the SBA flag in the Hall of Flags. This crest was originally drawn by our first SBA president, Janai Talkington, in the year 2005. We are lucky enough that it still remains with us today. The main two colors on our crest are maroon and white. The maroon representing patience and victory in battle, and the white representing peace and sincerity. The largest symbol on our crest is the ink and the quill. This is a representation of the work of our namesake. It shows the continuity of her mission and our mission to affect the culture. Next, I want to show you the two sink foils. These mean hope and joy. 
which connects to our house verse of Romans 15, 13. The Cornish crow symbolizes our strategic means of engagement, which is linked to the flame, which shows the zeal of truth and wisdom to illuminate our sphere of influence. Last but not least is our Latin motto at the top, esse quam videri. This means to be rather than to seem. This shows all of our girls and their desire to be truly authentic. Did you know that in the year 2005-2006, the creation of the crest was actually a house competition? And over to you, Corey. Thanks, Kara. I'm here in Kelly's kitchen. This is Cooking with Kelly. So, Kelly, what are we making today? Okay, so I have a few SBA girls coming over tonight, so we're going to be whipping up our favorite snack, pumpkin muffins. Pumpkin muffins? But, Kelly, it's not fall anymore. Oh, Corey, pumpkin muffins are an SBA tradition. We have our original Susie taste buds to thank for the recipe. So, where do we start? Okay, so this is where we start. First, you get... And then you're done. Wow, they look so good. Well, that's all the time we have for now. Thanks for watching the SBA special. Be sure to tune in next time for why the Thornberries really came to New York. I'm Corey O'Connor, and you're watching Channel 12 News. Do you approve of the house of Susan B. Anthony? That's like asking me whether I approve of French wines from the 2005 vintage. Yes. Emphatically, yes. <laughs>